Hey YouTube, Byers M66. Not on the bike today. Um, I have to head up to a gun store that I'm affiliated with and deliver some firearms. And uh, I didn't want to draw too much attention driving around with a shotgun across my back and a box full of pistols. So I figured I'd go the easy route and take the Explorer. But if I'm going to sit in traffic, like I am now, I uh, figured I'd share it with everybody. I hate traffic. There's always traffic on this road. But I just wanted to quickly um, mention that uh, the jacket that I did the video on, uh, if uh, you haven't checked the comments on it or if you just didn't care about the comments, either way, uh, the jacket has been spoken for. Uh, KLR Sarge was the first to get to me. And uh, right size, right price, and he's a jarhead, so anything I can do for the jarheads, being one myself. So hopefully he enjoys the jacket. It's already shipped out. He shipped it today. Um, so he should have it by the end of the week. So hopefully he enjoys that. And uh, I'm going through some of my other stuff. I got a bunch of junk. Not junk, just stuff that I'm going to go through. And you know what? Instead of going through the trouble of trying to list it on eBay and then deal with PayPal and all that other stuff, or putting on Craigslist, which I absolutely hate Craigslist. I've never had a good experience on Craigslist. Um, I'm just going to throw them up on YouTube. And, you know, the first person to get to me that can actually use it, not just would like it, but can use it and it'll work for their application, I'm going to get it to you, and all, I, all I'm asking for is shipping. And I'm shipping everything through the post office. I'll be able to ship it, and then we'll worry about it later. Putting my faith in humanity and my fellow man, trying to do something good for somebody else, and doing something good for myself, too, because it actually makes me feel pretty good about myself. And um, you know, with the economy and the crapper the way it is and gas it the hell did I pay 419 today a gallon everybody's got economic problems I don't care if you're loaded or if you're not I'm not loaded I make myself get by my family and I and you know we're happy and we're fortunate uh, there's things that we don't have that we would like there's things we can't do that we would like, but you, you have to make the responsible choices, and we're happy with that. You know, I've got my, my children are happy, they understand there's certain things you can't do right away. You know, we went to Disney once, they want to go again, can't do it. You know, we'll, we'll get there again. And they're cool with that, and they understand it. And I know there's other people in that same situation. And if, if something that I had that I no longer use, it's doing me, whoa, sorry, get my mouth going, they just stop traffic. If, if I've got something going on, or I have something, and I'm not missing it, because it's in a closet, or it's in a box, or it's in a drawer, and somebody else could benefit from it, I would rather give it away. I just, I would rather do that. My wife's not so so much on that, or with me on that. But if it's my stuff, I will do with it as I wish. And really, I mean, if you look at it, it's what happened, you know, decades ago. You don't throw things out, you pass them along. And even farther back, during the you know, founding of our nation and the settlement of the West, you know, you didn't always sell things, you, you lent things out, or you, you know, somebody sets up a new homestead and everybody gives something from their home to help set that other homestead up. Now, I'm not doing that exact thing, but the, the concept, my principle, is there. Let's just pass it along. So we don't, it doesn't always have to be about profit. It could be about just being a nice guy, a good guy. I hate the word nice guy. Being a good guy. So, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm going to be heading up to New England Gun Exchange, and then I may try to meet a friend, and then I may try to do some uh, nighttime navigation to get my nighttime navigation GPS skills together. So, 
And uh, if something's wrong with the sound, it doesn't sound quite right, it's either because I'm far away from the camera or I got a mouthful of sunflower seeds and I probably shouldn't be talking with my mouthful, but you can't see me, so it don't make a difference. So that's it, guys. Keep up the, the good videos. I love, I'm love i loving all the, the videos. Everybody's really getting on board. And I'm finding, by watching all the people that I subscribe, I'm finding new people to subscribe to through them, which is really cool. And I'm getting a couple of new subs. It's, it's kind of nice. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the little bit of traffic. Once I get underneath this new overpass they're building and get onto I-91, it'll be a, a lot smoother going. But I don't have anything else to say. I'll say goodnight. I'll catch you all later.